A pioneering high-rise building has punctuated the skyline in Newcastle. Hadrian's Tower, a 27-storey residential complex, 82 metres high, has overtaken the 1967 Vale House in Jesmond as the tallest city building. has an unconventional footprint in Rutherford Street, adjacent to Chinatown and St. James Boulevard. Its progressive profile is visible from most parts of the city. Newcastle is not famed for high-rise buildings, but the city chiefs thought that this one, dominating its surroundings, was a daring opportunity. The High Street Group, its developer, engaged architects Faulkner Browns to design this residential block to be built by Gateshead contractor Toland. The Roman Emperor Hadrian, who lived from 76 to 138 AD, was described by historians as one of the five good emperors. He rejected his predecessor Trajan's expansive zeal for a more conservative view, protecting borders and good order in the empire. Always an admirer of the earlier Greeks, he diverged from the then fashion for clean-shaven leaders by sporting a beard. He created new civil and religious buildings, as well as the wall from Wall's End to Bowness at the northern extreme of Britannica. He commanded its construction in 122 AD, not so much as a frontier, but more a deterrent against attacks, at less expense than a full army, as well as a control of cross-border movements of people and goods. Not long before his death, he wrote this short poem. Roving, amiable little soul, body's companion and guest, now descending for parts colourless, unbending and bare. Your usual distractions shall be no more. The bold structure bearing his name incorporates 162 apartments, a bar and restaurant, and a coffee shop. It is a fine source of income for the developer and an icon or an eyesore, you're free to choose, for the people of Newcastle. Hadrian shaped early Newcastle with his cross-country frontier. We remember him for his wall, his beard, and his poetry. We don't have a Hadrian Institute of Structural Engineering or a Hadrian Schools of Political Science, but we do now have a Hadrian's Tower. If we want to hold on to the essence of a historical person, all we can do is recall their past value, leading to their impact on today, that's why history influences not only who we are, but also who we aim to be. Imagining the past as a complete, unchangeable event is wrong. The secret is that the past doesn't exist. It never was finished. We can only be inspired by how we choose to remember it. Tomorrow is easy. Yesterday requires more thought.